Julia. And oh, hey, it's me, Winnie. <laughs> we have discussed this a lot. And we have finally come to the conclusion that the single hardest thing about starting a relationship out of everything, <laughs> out of figuring out, is this the right person for me? Will they get along with my friends and family? Am I attracted to this person? Farts. Farts. Yeah. <laughs> it's farting it's relationship in relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have been living with my boyfriend for almost a year now. Babe, is that crazy? Babe? <laughs> he's, he's probably, he's like in the bathroom. No, yeah. He's really supportive, he would be. <laughs> anyway, before living together, I would never fart in front of him. And it's not because, like, I'm a lady. It's not. It's just because my body, like, would not let me. And we're, we're big foodies, so we would eat Indian food, Thai food, fart food. <laughs> and I would stay the night after these meals, and my stomach would be in so much pain from holding these farts that I would be so relieved the next day to drive home and just let them out. <laughs> and about a month into living together, I could no longer lie to myself. I could no longer lie to him. It was not fair to either of us. I told him I was becoming ill. Holding <laughs> in my farts. <laughs> I, would be, I would be in bed at the end of the night. My favorite place and time to just let him rip and I couldn't. <laughs> so I would go to the bathroom, turn on the sink and the fan. And the bathtub. And my hair dryer and my electric toothbrush. All while playing people's snap stories in the background just to make it seem like I was casually like looking at my friends' stories. When in reality I just needed any and all sound to mask my heart. <laughs> he could still hear me. <laughs> Why are toilet bowls so cavernous? Why were they designed to amplify such small, embarrassing sounds? <laughs> you know when a band needs to find, <laughs> when a band needs to find just like a great space to rehearse, so they choose a garage or under a stairwell of a high school because they are music are there. <laughs> That's a toilet bowl. I want to sing into my toilet to boost my self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I think about my mom. <laughs> I'm like, I have to wonder, does she hold in her farts? So I asked her, and she just said that she doesn't fart often. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> she actually told me you should absolutely hold in your farts until you are married, <laughs> and then it is a conversation with your spouse. How would that conversation go? Cut to honeymoon, Sonoma Valley, on the vineyard. Three glasses deep into that vintage chateau of feet you've been saving up for the occasion. A soft, lively fruitiness on the palate. Is that tangerine I taste? No, it's just the citrus undertones of the Lafitte and oaky finish. <laughs> Back to the farts. I noticed you haven't finished the Lafitte. Is everything okay? Yes. Now that we've officially tied the knot. <laughs> I have to I know you're nervous. I was married once before. It's a conversation. It's natural. It's beautiful. But you know, there's just, there's just stigma around it, you know? And at the end of the night, my body wants to do what it needs to do. I want to make this as comfortable as possible for you. I've been constipated since May. So wait, before you should know. I will think of you differently. What? So two things you should know about me is I'm a super gassy person, and I'm also gay. So a few months ago, I was lying in bed with my girlfriend, and we were having this beautiful moment of just staring deeply into each other's eyes, and then there was this silence, and I was like, what's up, babe? Is like something on your mind? Yeah, I just, I think I love you. This was the first time we had ever said that to each other. So I was like, I think I, I, think I love you too. It was so beautiful. I was like, so excited, lying in bed, my leg kind of swung over hers. Then a feeling that wasn't love crept into the bedroom. I needed to fart. But my position was in such a way that I physically could not hold it in. Five seconds after she told me she loved me. So I farted. But it wasn't one fart. No, 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 no. That would have been too easy. It was a constant stream of low toned farts that I was forced to talk over. And I was worried that if I changed my position, it would somehow amplify the noise. So I stayed, with my legs swung over hers, farting and yelling almost completely incoherent sentences to mask the noise. Yeah, I'm so happy that finally you sort of said that and you feel it in the too. I was mortified. I was fully prepared to pack my bags, get on 
agonizing it over, I was agonizing over it for weeks on end, and then, but we never talked about it again, and I assumed it was because she knew I was embarrassed and she didn't want to make me feel bad. So then, a few weeks after that incident, she did something embarrassing, like burped or something, not fart status. So I took a deep breath, and I was like, you know what, we'll laugh about this one day. And I was like, well, nothing's as bad as when I emitted a constant stream of farts on you right after you said you loved me. Her reaction? You did what? No, <laughs> not only did she not hear or remember the farts, but I could have lived my whole life without her knowing that story. And she made me tell it over and over again to jog her memory. <laughs> to this day, she still does not remember and calls me Mick Fart Pants. <laughs> Mrs. Bloom, your first grade teacher. Tony, your parents' divorce lawyer. Ron Howard. Everybody farts. <laughs> interesting um, farting stories in your relationships. We'd really like to know what to do in that situation. Anyone? Mm -hmm. What? Really yes. So yes. I, I've been farting while while listening to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was snuggling in bed one time and I let the fart go, but it was underneath the covers. And then I asked, what would you do if I spit right up into the air right now? And they put their head under the covers. <gasps> oh! So it's, that's called a Dutch oven, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She farts so much that I pretty much think everybody thinks it's me. <laughs> and I accept the blame. That, that's not that's not that's not that's not that's not <laughs> Just love another friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.